بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So if a brother is calling to something which is an opposition sunnah, he's saying for instance, leave Masjid Rahmah, go to somewhere else, don't be up there with them guys. And of course he should be warned against because he's calling to Furqa, uh, separation, and, and calling to the Muslims to go away from that which is the Asa, which is to gather up on the hot. Of course he should be warned against. What is he calling to? He's calling to separation. And we don't take it as seriously as we should take it because we have never understood, many of us, the future and the benefits uh, of unity and how precious unity is. Unity is nafis. Unity is very, very expensive. But we don't understand that yet, or very few of us do. And so every little mishap, oh, I'm going my way, and let me get my bat and ball and go play with somebody else. And this type of mentality, this type of childish, infantile mentality, you know, which rather than maintain your unity with your brother, and he stay and deal with the harms that might come your way. He might say a loose word. He might treat you a little rough, and so on and so forth. But you hang in there because you understand the importance of the unity. And you're ahl sunnah to wal jama'ah, those who stick to the sunnah and gather and have unity upon it. When they understand this asl, when this asl is understood, then, you know, we'll see a lot of improvement. Right now, many of our Salafi brothers are going through this thing of what the Prophet ﷺ said. Shaitan has given up any hope of ever being worshipped in the Arabian Peninsula. But he seeks to make confusion and, and differences between you. Tahrish bainakum. This is what the game is now. Create confusion and differences. Make them differ one another. Make them fall out. You know, make it where they can't have no unity. Make them fight one another. Make them hate one another. Make them turn back on one another. This is used, this is going against a great usul, which is unity, which is our strength. After Allah ta'ala, this is our strength, and we're going to lose it like this. It's almost like the Atabaka Khamis, they used to call it in the Arabic language. Filth column, they call it, in, in military language even, where you got a, a group of guys who infiltrate, and their whole thing is to mess up everything from the inside out. Filth column. You know, and I mean, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, fights spilling out of everywhere. Just everybody just going much noon. You know, this guy, sh you know, falling out with this one. That one falling out with that one. This one shit falling there. This one, this imam and this sure. This sure and this imam. Come on, man. What type of madness is this? So, you know, the old rule, divine and conquer, seems to still be amongst us. And most of us, most of us haven't learned the lesson of how to protect ourselves from it.